It might feel like the presidential election is still a long way off, but in reality, some of the first votes will be cast in just a few weeks. Rebecca Castor has more. Next week, North Carolina will be the first state to send out its mail-in ballots. That means some voters could cast their vote before Donald Trump and Kamala Harris even debate. We expect this race to be close until, until the last day, but we're built for it and we're ready to go. You must vote in this election, and we want people actually to start the very first day of early voting. Several other states will also see early voting begin in September, including Battleground, Pennsylvania. Laura Trump and I have been in every single battleground state. We're traveling all around the country, recruiting and training volunteers to serve as ballot observers, ballot workers. Republicans are focusing heavily on Election Day, but they're also embracing early voting. Their candidate, though, isn't helping squash the stigma. Anytime you have a mail-in ballot, there's going to be massive fraud. In a sit-down interview with Dr. Phil, the former president suggested mail-in ballots could be no more if he's back in the White House. What we have to do is get control, and then we have to change it. And it's a very simple change. Same-day voting, even if you declare a holiday, a voting holiday, which would be fine. During the 2020 election, in the midst of COVID, more than 43 percent of Americans voted by mail. And when you look at votes cast for just President Joe Biden, 58 percent of his votes came from mail-in ballots. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.